take a spigot like Mastery TV and anything else that you can do that will that will flush your water glass on a regular basis. And if you ever run if you ever run a uh, uh, a glass that's dirty under a faucet of clean, pure water, and you run it, and you run it, and you run it, what happens? Over time, it overflows, 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 and then you've got nothing but clean, crisp water. That's what has to be constantly going on with your brain, because whether you like it or not, you are subject to the bombardment of your consciousness as you walk around every day. News, radio, newspaper, conversations in the hallway, conversations with your with with people at the office your own family your own self-talk tapes are constantly putting coke in your cup the only way to clean so that your attitude improves enlightens is to run fresh water into your cup on an ongoing and regular basis and that is with mechanisms like mastery TV does that make sense and then be constantly careful about the coke that's going in versus how much water you're running through it that's why this is the principle that I want all of our leaders to adopt and to teach and to train. When you get up in the morning, first thing, with a cup of coffee or when you get to the office, before you open your email, click on Mastery TV, take 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't matter what you watch. It doesn't matter what it's on. For 15 minutes, just listen to something positive. Run some water through your cup. At least, at least create some clarity so that your attitude is lightened. It will shift your entire perspective and your attitude for the entire day. Every day, make it a ritual. You brush your teeth every morning, you take a shower every morning, hopefully, right? Except for those of us that work from home, sometimes it's not till three in the afternoon, right? But put a little mastery TV into your cup every single morning. It'll, it'll alter every outcome you're looking to produce that day. So one is information, two is environment. How are you what, what is the environment which you're operating in? What is the structure of, 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 of how and where you are performing from? As my wife knows, this is big for me. If, 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 there, if the office is cluttered, it drives me nuts. If I don't have a space where I can just be totally focused and centered, and I've got all the technology mechanisms to be full steam and efficient, it drives me nuts. So consider your environment. Make sure that your environment supports the kind of production you want to put out. And three is associations. And this is a biggie, biggie, biggie. One is the information Two is the environment, and three is huge. These are the people that you are surrounded by. It is stated, and it is verified statistically, that you'll become the combined average of the five people you hang around the most. Right now, I want you to think about the five people you spend the most time with in your life, in terms of a friend basis, okay, a peer group. And if you're not already, more time spent with those people, you will have a combined average of their income, you will have the combined average of their health. You will have the combined average of their relationships. You will have the combined average of all the results that they're producing in your life. It, 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 associations influences tremendously. It's subtle, but it's tremendous. Have you ever, have you ever like decided, okay, I'm not going to drink soft drinks, or I'm going to eat healthily, and you do it, but then you get with a friend who has ice cream, or drinks some sodas, or has a little fried thing, and you're like, and so you start eating it with them. That's where associations have a subtle, slight impact. Now, if you're with somebody who's only eating healthy and they're not ordering soft drinks, but they're ordering water or they're ordering, you know, uh, tea or they're ordering something that is healthy, all of a sudden you step up and start to match that a little bit. The, the continuing effect of those associations has tremendous impact. I promise you. I realized this uh, a long time ago, and so I make a conscious effort to say, who do I want to spend time with? There are some people that I can only spend two minutes with. There are some people I can spend 20 minutes with. There are some people I can spend two hours with. There are some people I can spend two days with, and there are some people I can spend two weeks with, and that's it. And there are some people I can spend two months with. And I have to determine who, who's a two minute and who's a, who's a two week type person. Because I want to know the kind of effect that I want to realize as a result of being around them. And then, who is not in my life that I need to attract in order to help step me up a bit so that I look at my health a little bit more rigidly or I look at my performance in my business a little bit more excellently who is doing more than me that if I, if I brought them into my association circle would help step me up a bit 
And so I joined organization, the Young Entrepreneurs Organization, get surrounded by other people that are um, top-minded, successful people. I even brought on a mentor who is a, a person who is a graduate. Um, and I wanted to include these people in my sphere of influence. And as my wife knows and some of my friends know, this person had tremendous impact. He's, he brought me to the next level. And Jim Rohn says, you know, if you're a millionaire, you know, uh, that's great. But if you want to get to the next level, try to find some billionaire friends. Try to find somebody that, that's got, is worth 10 million if that's your goal and your ambition. If you want to improve your relationships, find people who have relationships that, that model what it is that you want to represent in your own. Because I promise you, as you watch, witness, as you interact, as you share, as you commune together, you, it will have an influence on your relationship that will be profound. And it will be subtle, but it will be profound. So associations is key. That's it for day five. Tomorrow, Tom Wood is going to talk about the most important skill they don't teach you in college. Come back and see what it is. See you tomorrow.